Hello everyone, today we will introduce the process of georeferencing point cloud data using the Leadgeoference software. Users can either load live project or create new project to perform the georeferencing. For live project processing, start by opening a .live project file via file a browse. The .live file contains the project and point cloud data collected by airborne equipment. Generally speaking, parameters need to be set via the settings option before georeferencing. However, for live projects, there is no need to set parameters manually as the software auto-loads these settings upon opening the project. Control the processing workflow by selecting the corresponding steps. POS process is used to post-process the original POS files to obtain high-precision POS data. Georeference processes the original point cloud data to achieve high-precision georeference point clouds. Check both POS process and georeference, then click Start to begin processing. The georeference point cloud data will be loaded into the view upon completion. Depending on your needs and the quality of the point cloud data, you may choose to perform classification and smoothing operations. If you need true color point clouds, select the Colorization option and click Start for colorization. You can also use the split trajectory tool to divide the trajectory into segments for more efficient colorization. Trajectory splitting has three methods, draw polygon, select on trajectory, and auto split. Choose the method that suits you best, with draw polygon, outline the area, double click to finish, and then click Split Trajectory. After splitting, click Segment Table to view detailed information about the segmented trajectory segments. You can use the toolbar at the top of the table to open, save, delete, clear segments, and hide remaining parts. Click Colorize by Segments to colorize the point cloud by trajectory segment, where each segment is assigned a specific color, and non-segmented point clouds will appear gray. Click Split by Segments to divide the point cloud into multiple pieces based on the trajectory segments. Use Cut by Trajectories Buffer to set a cutting range if needed. If the georeference point cloud shows issues like tilting or layering, use the boresight and trajectory adjustment functions to correct laser alignment errors and trajectory fluctuation errors, respectively, to enhance the quality of the point cloud data. Now let's look at the process for georeferencing point cloud data using a new project in Legio software. For new project processing, click Create New Project and proceed through the New Project Wizard. In the New Project Wizard page, configure the laser raw data, load the calibration file. Each equipment set provided by our company comes with a .cal calibration file. After importing the calibration file, you can view the device's SN number, platform, and type. Load the laser file to display the date of point cloud data acquisition. Click Next to configure the POS raw data. The process mode for POS data has three options, external input for existing trajectory files. Linav software for POS data processing and optimization. POSPOC software for POS data georeferencing and processing. Select Linav mode, which requires configuring base station and rover station data, resulting in .POS format output. Choose the baseline mode based on the number of base stations. For single base station, select INS slash PPK general mode. 
For multiple base stations, select multi-base station mode. Load rover station data, IMU format. Base station data includes various modes such as Find MM and Rhinex. Users can select according to their actual needs. In this case, we choose the Rhinex station mode, which is a general format suitable for converting other types of base station data. Input the base station observation file, base, OBS, and the navigation file, base, NAV. These two files are mandatory, while others are optional. The observation file is in .gvo format, and the navigation file is in .gvn format. Set the base station coordinate calculation mode. If Rhinex is chosen, the default is from header. For manual input, provide longitude, latitude, ellipsoidal height, and antenna height. After POS processing in LeNav, two POS files will be generated, original POS and auto-clipped POS. Select the appropriate tab to automatically load the POS files into LeGeo. Click Next to configure camera raw data. For devices with cameras, camera data can be used for point cloud colorization to obtain true color point clouds. If no camera device is available, this page can be skipped. Load the image folder and camera event file. The image folder contains source images, and the camera event file includes exposure time, location, and attitude information. Choose whether to apply uniform color processing to the point cloud colorization results. Select the correct camera file time format. Click Next to configure target coordinate system. This page is used to set the target coordinate system for imported or generated POS files and can be skipped. The default recommendation is the WGS84 UTM projection coordinate system. Quickly find the target coordinate system by entering keywords in the filter or define seven parameters using the seven parameter setting button. Click Next to set classification parameters according to users' needs. Click Next to configure smooth settings with the option to perform smooth or remove outliers. Then, select the project type. Set the save location and project name. The default path is the directory of the laser file with the corresponding file name. Click Finish to complete the project configuration. After configuration, the project file will appear in the project window. Click Settings, you can review or modify the laser, camera, and coordinate system settings as needed. Select POS Process, Georeference, and Colorization for the processing workflow. Click Start to begin georeferencing and wait for the software to complete the process. Additionally, you can choose to perform the S-split trajectory as described earlier. That concludes the introduction to the point cloud georeferencing process using Georeference software. Thank you for watching.